I'm Susie Welsh, CNBC career expert. Interviewing tonight, an Alabama housekeeping corporation is seeking a director of operations. To my mind, there were two real standout candidates in two maids and a mop, and they were Kelly and Donna. And why? Because they had stories about themselves. Uh, at one point in the interview, they're asked, tell us the wow, you know, wow us with your story about yourself. And if you go into an interview, um, you really have to have a story of yourself. You have to have a story about who you are, what your values are, what your purpose is, what you want to do, and go in with that ready. Don't let them pull it out of you. Have a story about yourself that you want to tell. Now, Denise, she was not the right person for this job for other reasons, but she committed one of the cardinal sins of interviewing, which is that she started talking about money before the offer was made. That is a no-no. It is not appropriate. You wait until the offer is made, and then you can start talking about money, and never before. The first five minutes of every interview, do you just want me to walk out so you can talk football? It's football in real life. Ron and Jamie could not have been more clear about the importance of Alabama football. And there they were, and they bring it up with Morgan, poor Morgan, and he just drops the ball, if you'll pardon the pun, and doesn't talk about Alabama football with them. What a mistake. You have to seize on those opportunities for some kind of personal connection and really show that you're willing to be a person who can have fun at the office and talk about things besides the work because the day is long and any kind of personal connection, uh, shared values really matters. And Morgan, you know, I think he actually lost the job right then when he could not talk about Alabama football. I think there was a missed opportunity with all of the candidates, actually, with this interview. Two Maids in a Mop is a very fast-growing company. I mean, that really defines it. And I found that people sort of spoke around that, and they were pretty generic in their answers. Uh, if I was there in this interview, I would speak very specifically about the fast growth of Two Maids in a Mop, and even more importantly, talk about how I, as a candidate, would help spur that growth and contribute to that growth. Go there. Don't be generic in your answers. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.